All right, let's see what Patrick Snedeker can do. And imagine that. here we might have a new leader in that bunch well that's gonna be pretty close we'll have to listen for it he's got to beat 260 254 254 so Ed Tarbett will take the crown in that class at 260 oh well, we're gonna slip into the skip into the modified two-wheel drive Bruce Baker in Bumblebee an old Jeep and this is a car with some character, isn't it? This is. This guy's kind of into all this beautification stuff. His wife likes to put the eyelashes and the lips and, and things like that on it. Kind of character family oriented deal. Yeah, this is the modified two wheel drive. What are the what are the classifications for this one? This truck weighs 200 or 6,200 pounds. It's two wheel drive. It can only drive from the rear end. Uh, most of the weight on this is believe it or not is on the back end to hold the back end down now he'll probably do some wheel stand in here you'll see his front end come up off the ground all right let's see if bumblebee decides to fly here he goes he got up a little off the ground he's coming to see The, grab, the truck just won't let it handle tonight. Plenty of power there for Bumblebee as he's at 248. Well, Bumblebee has a little bit of a, I don't know if it's an advantage or it's just some fun for him. He's got, you know, he's got a couple of pulls because he's first and he's only in his class, so he's going to try it again. Yeah, he's going to see if he can beat his own number. You know, that's part of being the only one here. You can come and do that. That's Bruce Baker behind the wheel of Bumblebee. And again, 6,200 pounds, and most, as, you, as you mentioned, most of the weight in the back end on this one. And he didn't really stand up coming down. He got off the ground a little bit here at about the 75-foot mark. wonder if he's going to try to – can he – can he get that front end up if he tries? If the truck will hold for him, he can get the front end up. He can stand her up about two and a half, three feet off the ground. It's kind of awesome looking to see that old Jeep Commander up off the ground. Well, let's see if he does it this time. There we go. to see and that's why you run it the second time as much as anything i think give the give the crowd a little something to holler and hoot at yeah it makes us all feel warm and fuzzy <laughs> now we're into the super stock four by fours and he's this one should be elijah carter and overtime and you said this first time this truck's pulled yeah that's a brand new truck they just put together this winter for it See how he can do on this one. Elijah Carter and Mike Van Alphen in the Superstock 4x4s. Overtime, the name of this truck going up against Intrepid to see who's the king of the track tonight in the Superstock 4x4. All right, here we go. Rookie against the veteran. Mike Van Alphen has been pulling for about 20 years. This guy's the new guy. Elijah Carter. We'll see what Elijah Carter can do as soon as they get the tractor out of the way on the north end. He's gone, and here comes Elijah. Not a bad pull. Not a bad pull. Smooth and straight for a rookie. Not 
So Elijah Carter, pretty good pull that first one, 232.9, and he's exercising that option to pull that second time as he's first in his class. Yeah, that's the test pull option he gets to do if they reset the sled or if he felt they could do better next time. So we're going to see if he can do better or if he made the wrong decision. Well, they didn't reset the sled, and it seems like it's about right. I, I think the sled's working great tonight. Well, we'll take a look and we'll let you listen to this one because we can't even hear ourselves. That was worth his time. He passed 250. It was 232.9 the first time. Yeah, he did a very good job on that one. That's what happens when you get a little bit of seat time. 264 for Elijah Carter, driving overtime. Now backing up to the sled is Mike Van Alphen in Intrepid. You said this guy is an old veteran. Yeah, he's been pulling for about 19, 20 years, I'm sure. Um, let's see if he gets the edge out of this one. Well, he's got to beat 264.11. Elijah Carter just pulled 264.11. So Mike Van Alphen will get a shot, and then we'll be on to the modified four-wheel drive. Super modified four-wheel drive, super modified diesel, and super modified two-wheel drive will round out the night. Well, Intrepid's ready to go. Mike Van Alphen's ready to go. The sled's ready to go. So here we go. got him on that one. I think that's a veteran's experience. 278, he got him by 14. Yeah, that's that's a veteran experience in this. That guy will do better next time, though. All right, we're in the modified four-wheel drive class. Katie Nybar and shake and break. And her family's been doing this since before she was born. You said she's driven all over. Yeah, she's been all over the United States that I'm aware of, you know, mostly Oregon, California, Utah, Idaho, Wyoming. Um, she's been driving five years now, if I remember right, since she was 15 years old. You have to have a valid driver's license, and being in Idaho, you can drive at 15. So she lucked out on that draw. So at the tender age of, what, 20, she's a, a driving, pulling veteran. She's, she's pretty much a veteran, you know, and another thing about this truck here, it's kind of a classic. It's got a Ford body and a Chevy motor. A little bit of both of the best of Americans. So they're going to hook her up to the sled and the modified four-wheel drive. What are the, spe the specs on modified? They weigh 6,200 pounds. They run on methanol for fuel and all the other safety features. They run a little bit bigger tire in the class just before. Other than that, it's about the same. Okay, green lights, green flags. <laughs> 250 plus, a lot of power and a lot of noise. Yeah, she never run out of power at the end and I think they'll leave things alone so the rest of them have to catch her. 290. 290 is where she sets the bar. Now, will she run again? She has that option. We're about to see. Well, up next, Adam Winterhawk in Freedom. It's a 74 Ford. No? Oh, Adam Winterhawk's truck broke during the way in part, so he had to scratch out. This is Don Eddings. Don Eddings in Summer Magic. This is the 74 Ford. This is 74 Ford. Well, he has to beat 290 and change. Katie Nybar setting the bar pretty high, and they went out the back of the stadium here. Don't know if she'll, they'll 